What's going on everybody? So today I'm going to be doing another video and today I'm going to be using Bay Rum by Sterling. I'm also going to be using the uh, Sterling Synthetic Brush, the Two Knot. I'm going to be using the uh, Vikings Blade JR with a treat. Uh, a treat for your face blade. I also have Gentleman John, gentleman John, just on standby. I don't think I'm going to use my uh, my hydration today because I don't think I'm going to nick myself. Anyway, let me get my face wet. But I normally use the the. Uh, John John every day because I'm just so used to it. Mm. I love, 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 love the scent of Bay Rum. <clears throat> so how's everyone doing today? I hope good. It is Tuesday the 16th of April, so we're getting closer and closer and closer to May, so. My son was telling me yesterday, he's like, he's like, Dad, I'm like, boy, I only got like 29 days left of school. I looked at my wife, I was like, what do you mean? Like, yeah, school's doing a countdown of how many days they have left of school. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. But it's crazy that the school year is almost over. And he's laying in bed last night where we were talking. He's like, like, yeah, I'm gonna be in first grade and you know, like after next you're know, like, well you yes, you're gonna be in first grade. You know, he's excited. I can tell he's getting excited to go in the first grade. But it's crazy to me that, like, his first full year of uh, public school, where he put him in public school, uh, like, because you have an option down here. You have public school or you have private school. So we, we chose uh, public. But... He's like, I'm gonna be in first grade next year. I'm like, yeah, I know. Yeah. Oh, man, after he said that, I'm like, man. Because down here, they start early. They start in like the second week of August.
because um, this past year, school started like November, not November, but uh, August 10th or 11th, something like that. And it started on Thursday. It was like a Thursday. I looked at my wife. I was like, on Thursday? She's like, yeah, I know. It's crazy that in literally a month, a month and a week, one month and one week, he will be uh, out of school for this summer. Because he gets out uh, May 24th or 25th. So, and I'll have all of June, all of July, and then like and that. Week of, of August, so and then he starts school. It's just crazy to me. But kids grow up. Uh, so the best. I was thinking to myself, I was like, man, like, uh, this year will mark the 23rd year since my graduation from high school. I was like, man. When I graduated in Oh, one, so. And it's just crazy saying that. It's just crazy saying that. 2000, 2001 was 24 and 23 years ago.
I actually remember not a whole lot, but I remember the weeks leading up to graduation. Like, we had to do this, it was called a senior exhibition. I forget what it was about, but we had to do all this stuff. <clears throat> Our last day, I remember it like it was like yesterday. Our very, very, very last day was, uh, was on May 18th. I worked that night, so I worked that night, I worked Saturday, I worked Sunday, so. And I remember it because uh, Sunday night, I come home and I was like, well, I ain't got nothing to do. I don't have to go to school, so what do I do, you know? What do I do? What do I do? So, being an 18-year-old young male, I did what I thought was a smart move. I decided, I don't have nothing to do. I don't got school to do. You know, I'm, out, I'm freshly out of high school. So, I decided, I'm going to stay up. I don't have to go to school, don't have to do anything. So I stayed up. Monday rolls around, I'm still awake. Didn't go to bed, didn't do anything, you know. Tuesday rolls around. Same thing. Didn't didn't go to bed and you know one zero is all the same thing. So I'm going almost forty eight hours without sleep. You know. And so Thursday, the day before the graduation. It finally kicked in, I was like, I gotta get some sleep. So, after supper, I went to my room. I laid, I kicked on some music, and like, I just laid in bed and I passed out. Woke up the very next morning with her like, Six thirty, or actually, my stepsister actually had to like wake me up. She's like, "Hey, we gotta get ready for uh, to go to the high school to do the walkthrough." I'm like, "Okay, I'll wake up, you know." So and it was very surreal to me. Uh, waking up that day. Because our class at our school was, I think it still remains, but our class in 2001 was the biggest class ever. To graduate. So... We didn't have it at uh,
We didn't have it at our high school. We actually had it at a church. A church that was big enough to hold us. But we used the auditorium of the church. So. So, I'm. Um, so that day, we get to the high school, you know, and we get to now my former high school. And then. Judge. And then I'm sitting there reflecting on all four years of high school, you know, and I'm like, man. Started in 97, it's 2001, my very last day being in this school. You know, I, a lot of kids were just crying. They knew it was their last day. I didn't cry. I was I was more, I was happy, but uh, anxious at the same time because I'm going to be out in the real world. So... But I graduated that night. So. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit the like button, subscribe button, leave comments down below, and as always, happy shaping. Bye.